Hello. And today we're going to be looking at expanding quadratics. So, what is a quadratic? So a quadratic is something that has an x squared plus an x plus a, some constant. And we have this little formula here and it shows what form this would be in. So, if we were to factorize it, it would look something like this. x plus some constant times x plus another constant. And then we would times them together. So, that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to expand. So, firstly I want to go over the visual method and then we'll go over some other some of the other methods so if I had x plus 1 lots of x plus 2 and I wanted to expand this I would make a square for this method so Making the square, it's going to be x plus 1 on one side, and it's going to be x plus 2 on the other. So what ends up happening is we're going to get, if we calculate the area, it's going to be this here, and we'll have the x squared here, then we'll have a 1 plus times x here, so that's just x, and then we have an x times 2, that's 2x, and then we're going to have 2 times 1, which is 2, and then I can rewrite it as this, x squared plus, and we'll sum these together, so 2x plus 1x equals 3x, and then our constant here, plus two and you can see how we've just expanded using area something more familiar all right let's look at the same example but we will do it slightly differently so x plus one lots of x plus two all right another way of doing it is by taking one of the brackets so x plus 2 let's say and then we're going to times it by one of the values in this bracket here so in this case let's say x and then times it by the other value and just sum them together like this so you can see that the x and the 1 both come from this bracket here and we're going to times them individually. So we'll get x squared plus 2x and we'll get plus 1x is just x 1 times 2 is 2 collect like terms 3x and we've got the expanded form again. So another way of writing that is just by drawing some arrows so a good way of doing it is by just drawing some arrows so you know what you've times by what so I want to times x by x and I get x squared then I want to times x by 2 and I get 2x and then I'm done with x so I can go to 1 so 1 so 1 times x that's just x and 1 times 2 that's just 2 collect like terms 3x now if you don't like drawing these arrows here you can just remember this mnemonic foil and what foil is 
is it's basically telling you the order of which you should expand. So, x plus 1, x plus 2. So, what we do is that we look at our mnemonic and we work out what we should time. So, f is for first. So, I'm going to times the first two terms together. So, that's x and x. So x squared, and then I'm going to times the outer, that's what the O is. So the outer is x and 2, so I get 2x, and then I'm going to do the inner, that's the 1 and the x, so I get x, and then we get the last. So 1 times 2. And we get 2, collect like terms, 3x, and we're done. Now, now we're going to look at um, two particular expanding, two things that when you expand them are always going to follow this rule. So, if we had a plus b squared that is the same as a plus b times a plus b it's the exact same as uh, the quadratics that we were looking at so there's an easy rule to remember how this expands out to because it's always going to be the same so so if we worked out this using FOIL, we should be able to work out some sort of general rule to solve this. So let's do that. So first, A times A, that's A squared. Outer, so A times B, that's AB. You know, that's B times A, which is the same as AB. And then last, that's b times b, that's b squared. Collect like terms, 2ab, and we have our general rule. So, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is the same as a plus b squared. We can do a similar generalization for expanding for a different type of quadratic. And this quadratic is called the difference between two squares. So what that is, is a plus b times a minus b. And work out what that is. So yet again, we can use FOIL. So first, a squared, outer, a times negative b, so it becomes negative ab. Inner, that's a, that's b times a, so positive ab. And then last, that's b times negative b, and that's going to be negative b squared. And then collect like terms, this becomes 0ab. So we get a squared minus b squared. And you can see why the difference of 2 squared is how it got its name. Because it's the difference of 2 squares, a subtraction. So that's all the time that I have for today for expanding quadratics. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Or contact me on social media. And I will see you in the next video.